Think about that being the same distance as the back of the approach to the foul line. And if you were to place a ball on the 10 board right at the end of the approach and put a ball on the foul line at 17 and a half, you can really see how little that ball moves from right to left in the last 18 feet. Now that's the optical illusion of bowling. Everything that is created begins in the mind. Are you ready to create the best version of yourself on the bowling lanes? If so, let's begin. Hi, this is Coach Arthur, and welcome back to Art of Bowling, your resource for tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. We continue our Analyze This series with two more Team AOBers. You guys seem to really be enjoying and learning from this series, and that's the entire point. To carefully study bowlers just like you with the intention of applying it to your own game. And I want to thank everyone for the hundreds of videos we have received to go through for Analyze This series. For those of you who haven't already, please send in your videos so you can be next. The first bowler we're going to analyze today is Austin. Austin has a fantastic release and snap of the wrist. I don't want to say fantastic release. He has a fantastic yo-yo technique with his wrist and, and his hand. He's generating a lot of rev rate with that with that release. Now, I would guess he'd be in the upwards of the 4 to 415 range with his rev rate with that release. The problem is Austin's getting a lot of axis rotation with his ball that he really doesn't need. It looks like he's probably getting about an 85 to 90 degree axis rotation with the ball. If we understand that the ball slides down the lane, it gets to the break point, which is where the lane turns dry and then turns into a roll, that ball's gonna wanna go left quickly. And we don't need the ball to go that quickly left. We wanna get that axis rotation into an 18 to 25 degree range, no more than 35 on a house shot. All that axis rotation is never really gonna let the ball roll directly through the pins at a six degree angle, which is the goal. You want the ball rolling end over end at a six degree angle as it goes through the pins to drive through the pins. And we're not gonna to get to that angle with that much axis rotation. It's not as much space as you might think. If you're playing on a 42 foot long pattern, say you have 18 feet from the pins. Well, that ball's moving seven and a half to eight and a half boards in the last 18 feet. That's from the 10 board to the 17 and a half board. So think about that being the same distance as the back of the approach to the foul line. And if you were to place a ball on the 10 board right at the end of the approach and put a ball on the foul line at 17 and a half, you can really see how little that ball moves from right to left in the last 18 feet. Now that's the optical illusion of bowling. It seems like it's hooking a lot more. Take a look at that one, Dave, and look at how little that ball is actually hooking. And we want to get it to roll end over end into the pocket at, through that point. If you can get that elbow to stay in Austin and, and keep that axis rotation down, um, you'll, you'll drive the ball through the pins much harder and you will get a whole lot more strikes. Your ball will slow down less and you'll have more power going through the pocket than, than you actually do now. You're probably losing, um, if I was to guess with the experience I have with Specto, four and a half to five miles an hour on each shot. We can lower that down to three miles an hour and have an extra mile an hour at the pins. So speed is the most important factor in getting a strike. So we want to have that ball slow down a lot less and let that ball get into that roll end over end as it's angling into the pocket. Thank you for your submission, Austin. The next bowler we have is Tyler. Tyler is a young two-hander who's headed to junior gold this week. Tyler's footwork is very good. It's very quick. Um, he has a nice little power step. Very impressed with Tyler's footwork. What Tyler needs to work on is his shortened backswing, which um, ends up tucking up underneath his armpit. Gets that ball not quite into timing, places right. So what Tyler needs to do, 
he's pushing the ball away from him in his second step. He kind of needs to hold it there. Um, so he can get that ball going all the way back in his third step and elongate his arms through that third step so the ball isn't quite tucking up underneath his armpit. If you can get that done, Tyler, I'm sure you'll bring us home a junior gold title one day soon. Ready to be analyzed? Send your videos to our Facebook page, Art of Bowling, and let's get your game up. And if you really want to transform your game, join me on Patreon, and your game will get personal attention from me each and every month. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes.